Hello Wayfarers and welcome to another unboxing here with me Tom. I am going to be unboxing the second lot of plastic crack that I bought for myself. This bale along with the Pathfinder Kingmaker bale that I bought of booster boxes came from Magic Madhouse. Uh, which you'll find a link for in the description, uh, maybe on the video if I'm feeling savvy. And these are my Achilles heel. I love these things. Now, this one is specifically based around um, the city of Waterdeep and was to accompany the current module that's out from Wizards of the Coast. I decided I wanted to get some of these because I love running things in cities. Having a Jarl Axle would be super cool. And there are just some really cool guards and, and different kind of characters in this. Um, Arch Fiends and Griffin Riders. Uh, and there's some really cool kind of Dragonborns that you don't quite often get. So it'd be really nice to have those so my players have some more options for their characters. And it means that I don't have to keep 3D printing stuff from um, Hero Forge, which again, I love Hero Forge, but uh, I, I don't have enough money to keep printing them. So I've already pre-cut a little bit, so we'll crack on with opening up some of these plastic crack. So like before, I'm just gonna move these off the table. Uh, I'll mm, rip one of these off. We'll get started. So, uh, icons of the realms, water, water deep dragon heist. Let's see what we get. Let's get my trusty, my trusty cutter. I'm gonna shank you, box. Y'all gonna die. <laughs> oh, that did go well. Not as dexterous as I like to think. Okay, uh, again, <clears throat> same as the Kingmaker box, uh, we should get one uh, beefy character in here, one big one, and three smaller ones, so let's see what we get. Okay, oh, yes, exactly what I need. Our first large is a brown bear, because every city has a brown bear. Uh, paint jobs okay on this um the eyes kind of look almost as if he's been punched in the face but still nice little little model there let's pop him at the back and we'll get started on the uh the smaller ones right let's see what we get so i know i know d and d a little bit better than i know pathfinder um so, oh, cool. Human Warlock of the Fiend. That is a very cool little character. And that, the little see-through spell effects are really lovely on these. Cool. Let's pop in there. This looks like a town guard. Everyone loves town guards. Yeah. So, 4B, city guard. Really useful. Um, not sure whether the paint jobs are as good on these ones as they were on the Pathfinder ones. Which, I don't know. No, it's pretty cool. Still pretty good. It's just the eyes, I think, that are always a bit weird. This one looks like a... Oh, God. Oh, yes. We know what this is. So even though it's really hard to see, this is a swarm of rats. Number one of 44. Ooh. I can't remember which um, supplement has a lot of these kind of things in... Uh, I think it was um, Tyranny of Dragons, and you go down into a little um, area, into a underneath the keep, and there's a swarm of rats, so that's super useful. And in the city, underneath the uh, underneath the sewers and stuff, swarms of rats, super useful. 
Super useful. Box number two out of eight. We have eight of these to go with. Doesn't feel very heavy. Oh man, but I love these. This is like people that do the lottery. Like, I, I get it. I get it. This is my lottery. This is what I like doing. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it's definitely not a dupe on the big one. Oh, okay. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We have a super cool um, arch fiend who this kind of like see-through um, plastic so you can see him jumping and sticking to the base is super cool. So he is 32B of 44. So I assume there's another arch fiend that, that looks similar to this guy um, in the pack. He'll sit at the back there. Okay, so let's start with this small boy here. God damn you, bubble wrap. Okay, so what are you? This is a, uh, again, not a very easy one to see. This is a Darkling. This is 2 of 44. Um, here we go. So, not really sure what I'd use him for, but he's an interesting kind of little character. He's a little rogue thing. Probably have him sneak up on my characters in the city and do some nastiness to them. Ooh, this one feels interesting. This is Volifamp Gedarm. Wow, okay. He's really cool. He's quite heavy. He's got a bit of bit of weight to him. Um <clears throat> I think Volifamp is uh one of the kind of main characters for for this. He's on the side of the box. So really nice, really cool little um you could use him as a merchant if you wanted to, if you weren't playing Dragon Heist. And we have, ooh, a thiefy boy. He's a spy. 16B. So again, I assume there are more spies. But yeah, if you've got someone playing an assassin, that's a pretty cool character to have. Really nice. So he's number, yeah, 16B. So there should be some more of him. Wouldn't be upset if I got some, some dupes of him or some dupes of the city guard, to be fair. So, number three of eight. This is nice. This is nice opening these with you. Because we both get surprised at the same time. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is the one large one that I didn't really want because I can't really use anything for it. This is the Pentadrone. I know what this one is. So I've seen a lot of people open it up. Um, it's number 28 of 44. Let's move you out the way. And it's kind of like a large mechanical flower tank. But um, I, I think it's something to do with the Modrons. And I, I'm not a big fan of Modrons. So, maybe you'll never get any use. Maybe it will. Um, but it might just go on eBay. Who knows? Okay. You look interesting. Okay. What are you? Okay, again, really hard to see and read. Give me a second. Laurel Silverhand? So this must be an NPC in the um, in the actual game. The paint job's not great on her, and I'm not really sure what she's supposed to be. Maybe a maybe an, a genocide or genocide. I'm not really sure. Still, not a bad model. Interesting.
Oh, okay, this is super cool. I love orcs, half orcs, or whatever they are. Uh, this is Zerath Hunter. Unfortunately, hasn't put it. If you can read that, it's nine out of forty-four. It's a really nice model. Really like that. He's cool. He's really cool. Like him. Like him a lot. And good old Darkling down here again. We'll see what we can use him for. I think he might be a variant. 15 of 44. Nah, they're pretty much the same. Okay, so box four out of eight. Doesn't feel very heavy. Oh, not feeling, not feeling lucky on these ones. I feel like I may have got a duff box. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Okay. Oh, what is this? Okay. Well, that's useful at least. Um, I've got a few, a few wolves, wolves. This is a dire wolf, which would have been super useful for my campaign uh, earlier on because I had orcs and dire wolves coming along. But yeah, he's nice. He's really cool. Cool. Let's pop him back there. Okay, what have we got on a smaller one? Okay, this is this is pretty funny. This is something that I could happily kind of throw at my campaign. This is the flying door, um, or animated door, um, which I guess is... I don't know where it comes in use. I'm sure once you've used it once, um, it's it kind of loses its gimmick, but it's pretty interesting. <laughs> Ooh. This looks like one that I was pretty interested in. I don't normally uh, play monks or have many monks in my games, uh, but I think this might be the Sun Soul Monk. Yeah, Human Sun Soul Monk. So he's really cool. Look at the colors on him. Wicked. Like him a lot. He can go down here with my orky boy. Okay, so let's get rid of those. What have we got in here? That looks like another... Oh, that's the City Watch. So that's like the police of Waterdeep. Um, but very cool. So let me turn him around so you can have a look at him. He's even got like a British Bobby's helmet. <laughs> cool. And a metal club. Cool, blimey. You go over there. Right, halfway through. That's another light one. It's another light one. I don't think we're going to get Xanathar in any of these. But, you know, that's okay. I'll live with that. I can't even see anything on this one. Oh, oh, this is super useful for me. Um, if you were one of my players, you would know how funny this is because um, uh, I, one of my favorite things to throw at my players is a snappy boy. This is. Oop. A crocodile. The snappiest of boys. He's really cool. He's painted really well. That's really useful for me. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I've I just almost killed one of my players with a crocodile uh, called El Croco. So um, he's he's super useful. Let's put. Try not to cut myself on that. Right. Let's see what's in this one. This looks like some kind of demon. Uh, yeah, so this is a Cambian devil. Uh, she she looks pretty rad. 
not sure if that's a staff or a bow. I think it might be a bow. Oh no, it might be a staff. It's just really spinny. So it just needs straightening out a bit maybe. But still, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, this is... I think this is one of the Apprentice Wizards. Yeah, this is... This is Apprentice Wizard 8A of... And she's pretty cool. She or he, I'm not sure. They are pretty cool. Ooh, this... This looks like a swashbuckly boy. I think he might be a special character by the looks of things. This is uh, Renier Neverember. Cool. He's pretty sweet. I like him. I like him. Box number six. Again, it's another light one. It's another light one, boys and girls, and everyone in between. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. This isn't too bad. This is not a dupe. This is not a dupe. It is a shield guardian. Okay, so... Shield Guardian, 27 of 44. He's pretty cool. Could use him as any kind of um, golem or something like that. I had a golem that was protecting a shop. He'd have been really cool for that. Uh, he can go at the back there next to my snappy boy. Okay, let's see. Looks like it might be another one of the rogues, maybe another spy. Oh, the Black Viper. Oh, he's cool. Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, super stoked for him. He's cool, 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 cool. Oh, this looks... This looks pretty dope. I think this is another city guard, so but it's a different variant on the ones we've already got, so that's good. We like variation. Um, again, I've seen other people open these, and uh, the the spear is always a little bit bent. <clears throat> it doesn't actually look like that spear is painted. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just me being. I can always give it a touch of paint if I'm. Unhappy with it. But there he is. It's another city watch. That's 4A of 44. There he is. And what are you, my friend? You look pretty, pretty swanky. This is a... Noble 5A of 44. Always handy to have some some noble townspeople. I like him. Cool. Awesome. He can go next to the snappy boy. He can try and save his own life from my snappy boys. Okay. Oh, actually, let's do let's do what we did last time. Got two left. Hmm. Both of them feel pretty light. I think this one feels feels lighter. I'm going to save that one until last. Okay, let's open this. And open this. Okay, boys. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, you are strange. I don't think I've ever seen you before. What are you? This is uh, a Devourer, 41 of 44. He's pretty grim. Oh, he's got a guy sticking out of his chest. Wow. Yeah, he's grim. 
Look at that bony ass. Mmm, god damn. Okay, well, we have a devourer. Uh, let's see what we've got in our pulls otherwise. Okay, okay. This is a slithering tracker. He's pretty cool. I love the kind of the see-through plastic. It's really nice. Slithering tracker. There he is. Not many dupes. Again, not many dupes at all, which is cool. Touch wood. Oh, yes, this is one of the ones I wanted to get. Wicked. So this is a Dragonborn Sorcerer. Dragonborn Draconic Sorcerer. Um, doesn't really matter if it's male or female. Looks awesome nonetheless. A um, little wand there, a little staff. Really cool. I love the blue. The blue's a really nice colour for that. Really happy with that one. Cool. Okay, what have we got in here? This looks like some kind of adventurous type. This is Mert. Hello, Mert. Might do well for a captain of a ship or something along those lines. But there's Mert. He's very nice. Okay. Last box. Doesn't feel like a doesn't feel like a winner somehow, but it's gonna be okay. Magic Madhouse wouldn't let me down. It's gonna give me a winner. What do we have? Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. So um, we have. This little guy that's already fallen out, which is another Cambian Devil, but a, a different variant. I like that. I like the, the, the fire. That's really cool. Yeah, nice. So, you can go next to that. The large we've got, we've got plenty of animals at least, is a, a lion. Uh... So I can run plenty of realistic campaigns here with, with creatures, I guess, uh, which is cool. So we've got a lion, which is 29 of 44. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. We've got two of these in this box. It wasn't very well done. Uh, so this is um, a Vargoyle, which is part Gargoyle and part Vampire, I guess. And there are two of these in this pool for some unknown reason, which is, you know, that was cool. But not, not exactly what I wanted. There he is. There's two of those. So there we go. That is um, my pull of the Icons of the Realms Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Um, I got mostly, like, I think I got only one dupe, really. Uh, and then the rest of them were kind of variants of the others, so that's pretty cool. That's still really good, like, you know. Um, <clears throat> there are a few bits in there that I can most definitely use and a few bits that I obviously have no clue about using. Cool. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Like not as happy as I was with the Kingmaker stuff. The Kingmaker stuff was lush, like really lovely stuff. This is a little bit more kind of um I could I can definitely use these in the city and in the like the town guards and stuff are really cool. Uh, and the and the creatures are really useful for for kind of my my jungle stuff and anything out in the wild. And some of these kind of the the, the townspeople are really really cool. I really like them. The Sun Soul Monk is wicked. This guy, I love this kind of half orc ranger. He's really cool as well. 
So yeah, I didn't, I didn't do well. Didn't do too badly. It wasn't too bad. Cool. So awesome. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As uh, as always, uh, thank you for supporting me. If you wish to support me further, feel free to um, drop me some money on Patreon, uh, which you'll find a link for in the description or at the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you with some more of these cool unboxing videos very soon because I am an addict. Hopefully we'll get some uh, at the end of this month. There should be uh, a new one of these available for the uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage. So let's try and get some of those. Cool. Have a wicked day, guys. And uh, yeah, look after yourselves. Cheers, Wayfarers. See you later.